We're here at the Donald Conventional Center and we're at the Muscle Cars and Corvette Nationals. Please enjoy the next video. Welcome to US Classic Muscle Cars. Today we are here at the Don Lee Convention Center and today we are here with someone that's been in the car business, shows, photography, videography for so long. Today we are here with Frank Pope. Hello Frank Pope, how are you today? Okay. Now tell us a little bit about what you've done over the years. Well, uh, I do a lot of video interviews with famous Corvette racers. I mostly target Corvettes, the Corvette hobby in the, the Corvette family. I, I've been involved with Corvettes. I was eight years old, I'm 72 now. In 1953 when the first Corvette was made, built, and my father got me enthused about the car, bought me a model, and I it was a, a dream of mine to always own a Corvette. And when I was 26 years old, I ordered my first Corvette, which I still own today, and I'm 72 years old. It's a 72 big block, it has every option on it, it's Targa Blue, 454, and I'm a drag racer. Of course, in the last couple of years, uh, my wife says, Frank, you're getting older now, we have grandchildren, I think it's the nonsense has got to cool down with the drag racing, but my car's uh, best time was a 1242. My biggest uh, thrills through the hobby is I was personal friends with Larry Shinoda, the man who designed the Stingray, and this body right here behind us, and um, the Mako Shark and Manta Ray, which was my favorite of all the Corvettes. Uh, I was very good friends with Dick Goldstrand. I've interviewed him. I've interviewed uh, Dr. Dick Thompson. And I'm friends with uh, Kevin McKay, who, uh, who puts on, he brings a lot of these L88 cars to these shows. He's uh, one of the top restorers of old-time Corvette race cars in the country. He's out of Long Island, New York, Valley Stream. And um, these are all amazing people. And then uh, Dr. Jimenez, who uh, wrote the book Corvette Legends, which is a fantastic book for anyone to own. And um, I just uh, always liked Corvettes, you know. it's it's a you can't explain. It's like some people like Fords and Mustangs, and I respect that. And uh, a lot of people don't realize Larry Shinoda not only designed the Stingray, he also designed the Boss Mustang and named it the Boss. So anytime these Ford guys and Chevy guys get together, they got to realize they do have something in common, and that would be Larry Shinoda. So I have a website, it's called vetster.com, that's V-E-T-T-E-S-T-E-R.com. And what I do is I go around the country, SEMA and any Corvette show, I've been to Carlisle with Lance Miller and so forth, and I, I like to interview people and their cars and talk about them. And it's pretty interesting and it's, it's a great, uh, you know, taking your hobby and bringing it uh, to another dimension. Definitely, so. I definitely understand that. And David Burroughs, the man who started the Bloomington Gold Corvette shows, also started a company called Prove It. And Prove It is a company that if you want to buy a car or you go to an auction and you're, you're in doubt if it's the authentic vehicle, they get a hold of David Burroughs and his Prove It company and he hires me as his investigator. And we go through the car and the deal is our client has to know if it's not the real car, we don't want to hear about it. They got to sign a contract because our job is to determine is it the real car or not, not make it the real car. So two cars I did with him was the Golf Oil race car, the 1961 Golf Oil race car that they said was a fake. It happened to be the real car and after it was proven to be the real car, Meekum sold that car for a million four. A lot of people say, well, how much money did you get in commission? I says, I can't get anything because that would be a conflict of interest. It would kill the whole concept. And the way Burroughs does it, he has a panel of five people, actually a pool of 25 people, but a panel of five people that don't know each other in different states that are smart thinkers. And then he gives them my report when it's done. One car took me a month, the other one took me five months. They review it and they're like a jury. And then they come back with their findings. And both of those cars, I was 100% accurate in my findings. 
and this way our client can't contact them, I can't contact them, everything's up the snuff, everything's legitimate, and that's the way, and only way I want to work. And I was proud of being part of that, and the last Hemi built, and we had the last Hemi here a few years ago. So, uh, I think that's about it for me with cars. I love them, enjoy them, and I guess I'll always do it till the day I die. <laughs> so it sounds like you've done everything in a, anything. Now, tell me a little bit, what do you have for the future? Well, there is something I wanted to. They're coming out with that new ZR1 Corvette, and I'm, uh, talking to Harlan Charles that I'd like to be one of the uh, people on Press Day to drive that car and do a story about that. I'm working with Vet Magazine right now, putting together some stories for them. And I'm going, and if they ever come out with that mid-engine Corvette, I definitely want to drive that on Press Day. And that's about it. All right, well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure, Frank. It was my pleasure, thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Resting my feet after a full day of filming the car show. Please don't forget to share and like our videos. Thank you for watching.